Last time, we looked at the human microbiome, the bacteria that live on us and in us. We also looked at different ways of washing our hands and how that made a big difference to the bacteria left behind. Today, we're going to be making belly button cheese! <laughs> the main ingredient of cheese is milk. But to turn it into cheese, we use microbes. Some bacteria make the milk go lumpy, and other bacteria, and sometimes even fungi, are added to give it taste and that stinky smell. A cheese maker normally buys these microbes from a shop, but since the human body is covered in thousands of different kinds of bacteria, we wanted to know if we could use one of those little bugs to form the basis of our very own personalized cheese. We know there's plenty of different bacteria inside your tummy button, and feet seem like a great place to find something stinky. So let's take some samples and see what we can grow. We're taking samples from each of us because I want to know who's got the dirtiest and smelliest feet. It's a dog. We've taken our bacteria to a lab and they've left it for a few days to grow in a petri dish so we can see what's been living on us. So what did you find? You got all sorts of bugs in your toe. Let's have a look. Okay. There's a bug there that's just pretty much taking over the whole plate. Yep. And then you've got this next one here, which is really mixed. Patches of spready looking organisms. Yeah, they sort of look like mushrooms. They do, yeah. So out of my samples and mum's samples, which one do you think has the stinkiest feet? Oh. Should we have a look at your mum's samples, shall we? All right. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's quite a heavy growth, isn't it? Yep. Heaps of bacteria. So the big question is, is there anything in there that you might find that would be nice for <laughs> making stinky cheese? Or the stink for cheese? I think so. Remember your toe? Yeah. It's pretty stinky and I think that's, that'll make a fantastic cheese. Hmm, I'm not so sure about this. But if we're going to make cheese for my toes, we may as well go for one of the best helpers out. Hi, we're here to make some cheese. Welcome, come on in. Cheese making teacher and author Jean Mansfield knows all about cheese. That's it, right to the top. And she's agreed to show us how it's done. I'm gonna warm this milk up. We want it to be 33 degrees Celsius because we're making Parmesan. 13, 32, 33, 34. Whoops, we better get it out of there pretty quickly. So we've made a nice white milk jelly now. You can see how wobbly it is. That's a bit thick. Though. That's it. Keep going. It's a bit like lumpy yogurt at this stage. Yeah, lumpy yogurt in pee. Uh, uh, not the words I'd use, but true. Away you go. That's it. Well done. Now, to get it out, and it smells. <laughs> yes, it does. And we're going to add the salt and the bacterial flavour. This is awkward. Jean doesn't know that we brought our own bacteria. How am I supposed to tell her that it's come from my feet? We have um, a special bacteria that we'd like to use on a plate. Do you think that would be okay? That'd be fine. Will it be fine, Jean? Will it? So this is gravy bacterium that you can use um, that for making cheese, but also lives in some people's feet. And it's what makes their toes smell really cheesy. Do you want to give it a sniff? <laughs> We're making a salty bath for our cheese with our added foot bacteria. This bacteria is what cheesemakers use to give strong cheeses their flavour. Ew. We'll leave it in the brine mix for about an hour and then it can come out. In about a week you'll have an orange sticky surface to the cheese. You have to carefully monitor it every day. We'll look after it, won't we? Yeah. And then we'll yeah. give it a try. 
You'll give it a try. <laughs> I, I'm i staying well away from it. <laughs> Two weeks later and our smelly toe cheese is ready to taste. Cheese, get your smelly cheese. They won't suspect a thing. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. Would you like to try some cheese? I'll try some cheese. <laughs> try it? Yeah. yeah. Give it a try first. Mm. 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 What do you think? Mm. It's good. It's really nice. Tastes like cheese. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Good? Mm. Would you eat cheese if you knew that it was made from bacteria that lived between your toes? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I said, oh mate, you sent me up with that one, mate. <laughs> well, I'm still alive. Thank you very much for the cheese. <laughs> Try all the other cheese before I come back to that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. That's terrible. You know what, my, one of my favourite cheeses is the stinkiest ones right. too. So there what does that say about Matt? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> my taste buds. <laughs>